Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm working on a hand painted leopard print mug and I think the mug is from Tipsy Magnolia. I don't remember exactly. I've been trying to be really good and use up some random mugs and cups that I have on my shelf and this was just one of them. So. I am using the designer box from Diamonds and Dust from December, so last month's designer box. And the designer boxes always come with three glitters and two coordinating vinyls, and this one is so cute. I loved both of them, but my original thought was to make some leopard print, and I didn't want the cutesy little candy design to take away from that leopard print so we are using just this heart plaid vinyl print today. I am changing, er, changing, I am trimming off all of the border and then we're going to wrap it around just the top of this mug. Measuring it to be straight with that handle, it was a little bit tricky but I just lined it up the very best that I could and then I really just kind of lined it up against that handle and went from there and then just prayed that I really had it straight. I cut off a little bit of the backing and then just applied it like the hinge method like you've seen me do a ton of times before. Just used my squeegee, scraped that so that the backing would come off and then when I got to the handle I just trimmed it right at that handle with a very sharp exacto knife blade and I basically just cut away where that handle was and then laid it down flat and then I trimmed it I tried to trim it right where the like line of the plaid was but then to where it wasn't cutting off any of the hearts so even there even though there's two hearts next to each other it doesn't look like a break so much it's not so obvious in the pattern since it's not cutting any of the hearts in half. After that I am using some electrical tape to tape off around the handle just on the side by the vinyl because we are going to be painting the bottom portion and the handle. They are all going to have the same glitter on them. I then used some painters tape and just taped off the rim of that vinyl and then I'm going to mix up some glitter glue and some chalk paint and apply that all over the exposed stainless steel. I only needed to give it one coat of paint and glitter glue because the chalk paint gave it a really good coverage. That's one of the reasons why I absolutely love using base coat with chalk paint because it gives a very good coverage. And then I am immediately going in with dipped from this month's box and giving it a really good coverage and then I will shake off or hit off any excess glitter and then I will immediately pull off all of the painter's tape and the electrical tape because we don't want the chance of it, the glue drying with it on there because then it makes it difficult to peel up. And this way you get beautiful, clean, crisp lines. And then I'm going to take a dry, non-used paintbrush. I just use this one specifically to help get off any excess glitter. And then I'm going to set that aside and let it dry for several hours. And then I am not going to epoxy it or spray it with clear glossy spray paint yet. We are going to go in and work on the leopard print before we move on to anything else. 
for my leopard spots, I am just going in with some Crystal Lac glitter glue, and I'm just making two spots on my paper, and I'm gonna mix some brown paint into one and some black paint into the other. And then basically for my leopard spots, everybody does them differently, but this is just what's always worked for me. So I just go in and make little not perfect circles. Sometimes I make them oval shaped, sometimes I make them like a C shape almost, but just some random spots. And we're going to put that right on the raw glitter in the color brown, or in the brown color. And then I'm going to top those immediately with the Diamonds and Dust Glitter color brunette. And then after I add all of the brown spots, which when I'm laying those down, I try not to get them too close together. And for this space, I don't want them huge. So I'm making them a little bit on the smaller side, but I don't want them too close together. So I really try to be aware of where I'm adding those spots. But also, I need to make sure that when I add the black to them that they're not touching either. So I just kind of randomly think where they'll be okay size-wise and distance. And then if I need to go back in and add more spots, we can always do that. We just can't take away. So once I am happy with all of those brown spots, I'm going to go in with the black paint and the glitter glue. And basically, I just kind of add lines right over the edge of the brown spots. And sometimes I'll add two spots for each circle, or sometimes I'll add three, or sometimes just one big C around those spots. If it's easier for you to pull up a reference of a leopard print, that will sometimes help. I just kind of willy-nilly go in blindly and just do what feels right in the moment. But I covered all of that, all of the spots I added the black spots to, and then this portion will be all done. Oh, and I forgot to mention for the black, I am also using Diamonds and Dust in the color Formal and Black Beauty, and I just mix them together in a little cup before I started this. After I was happy with all of those spots, I set it aside to dry for two, two hours and then I gave it two really good coats of Rust-Oleum's Clear Glossy Spray Paint. And then after that, I went in and gave it a good coat of epoxy. And when I 
applied that epoxy. I think I forgot to film this part because I can't find the coverage, but I just took a sprinkling of the Sweetheart glitter and sprinkled it all over that vinyl portion. And then I'm going to add this vinyl striping with ice film vinyl in the color red, and I get that from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love this vinyl. And then to the top of that red stripe, I am adding a textured, I don't think it's gold, but it's kind of like a, not even a coppery color. It's hard to explain, but it's a Tech Rep Craft vinyl. And then after that, I gave it another coat of epoxy, and then I gave it a really good sanding. And then I got this SVG from Diamonds and Dust website, and I decided that I wanted to bring out a little bit of the black color from the leopard spots. So I did an offset in black and then I used the ice film and did the top layer in the red. After that I gave it two final coats of epoxy and this cutie was all done. I am not a coffee drinker but I do love some hot chocolate so I love mugs for hot chocolate my kids love hot chocolate too. I thought this was a fun little Valentine Day themed mug and it could be used all year long because I love leopard print and I will use it all year long. But. I hope that I have inspired you in some way and I hope that y'all love this tutorial. As usual, I will leave all of the information where to find me and the products that I use down in the description box. And I thank y'all so much for being here. Your love and support means so much to me. And I will be back actually tomorrow with my regular Saturday tutorial and I will see y'all then. Bye y'all.